Micron display is working now. I fixed this anon shadow over here. I've got these ones working properly now. They actually work correctly. And we got an AC. It now shows AC and millivolts shows millivolts. So that's all correct now. What it was on a circuit diagram on the manual, the A and the G looked almost identical. You couldn't really tell which one was which. And I took a guess and it was the wrong one. So anyway, I swapped some wires around on the back of this PCB here, took the display back out again and it's uh, working again now. So that's all fine. The display's working, don't worry about the line above it because I've got the lighting coming through the top. So as you can see it's looking pretty good. I've done a lot of modifications to it. I even did some work to try and clean up the digital signals on here because they're really noisy digital signals. I showed the live stream. It was just a mess. And um, it was spent basically two days trying to clean all that up. So here's a display board. I've done lots of work on this. I've took all the capacitors out, replaced my jumper wires. I've changed, these were jumpers, well, they were originally resistors. I changed these to, to jumpers originally. Now I've gone to diodes, and three diodes got jumpers across them. What they are doing is the ones with the diodes on are going to the seven segment displays, and the ones with the jumpers on are going to the enunciators. That makes the enunciators brighter because they actually are high voltage diode and stuff like that. So they're all pretty much a bit of a boost there. Okay, uh, I've changed the resistor networks over here as AN3, 4, and 2, made them all 10k. I've changed the wiring on those as well, so AN2 is now pull up and AN3 and 4 now pull downs. They are doing the display digits and this one's doing the display segments. And doing those has cleaned up all the digital signals which come to the back of the display there. And I um, also pulled the Zeno diode out here and the resistor that was there. I linked these two tracks here together which are now all negatives together, so that's all zero volt rail. And that's linking over to the um, AN2 resistor network. I cut a track up here, you can't really see on his camera, but I cut a track right in that corner there and linked it across. There's, there's a pad right there right next to it, through hole pad, which is perfect, which is 5 volts. Which means I'll just cut that track and put a little link between the track and that pad, and that gave me a 5 volt rail I needed to do to pull up on that thing. Sorry. So that's pull down for those, pull, pull up for that one. Get it right. Um, and I think that's all the modifications on that board. But it took me two days to figure out all the bits and pieces I had to do, trying different combinations. And um, I even tried chucking an Arduino board on there to try and read the display info to replace potentially the enunciators. So using independent LEDs, you know, like I've got now, and on this thing, uh, which you won't see because I'm on AC. Right, um, so that as well, because they're not really that bright. I've, I've ordered some LEDs which should be brighter, but. I was thinking of using OLED instead, but then I was trying to do the Arduino on that to read that information, but because the digital signal is so noisy, it couldn't make any sense of it, and it's just coming up with gibberish all the time. So now I've cleaned those up, it should be a bit better. I'm doing this on my phone, by the way, so why it's a bit messy, and I sort of do an impromptu one. Got the scope set up over here. Let's hook this up, and I'll show you this digital noise. Well, the noise that was there, it's gone. I can show you this now. I'll actually just mark this up to say where I've got to go. It goes on zero volts, that's it. I probe on, say, this one here is, which one's that, digit one is it? I'm trying to see what I'm doing. That one there. So that's what I'm getting from there. Nice and clean. So that's the pulses which turn on the digit. Before that was like a stair step going downwards as the, basically the capacitance gradually discharged. So now it's a huge amount better. And I was getting on every single digital pin on the, all the digits. So if I get into, Here's another digit here. Looks exactly the same. Nice solid steps now. And on the actual segments, let's find a segment I can go on too easy. There's an F. That's a segment there. And that's the segment data. So you can see that's high or pulling down to about just over 2 volts. So that actually should be clean enough now for you to read that with the Arduino. Hopefully. You might be able to read that now. So that's the plan. Anyway, um, so I just sort of do a little impromptu live stream. I can't see the chat because I've both got the phone or anything like that. So um, I might check it afterwards. But uh, yeah, it's working now. So I, I do actually have an Arduino sitting here. Right here, which is the one I built. It just all plugs into the back of these 
hit, pin those pins on the back there. I was plugged onto that, but say at the time it couldn't make sense of the data because the data was just so garbled with all the noise and the steps and everything in the data, and it's just the levels are all wrong and just couldn't make sense of it. So otherwise, it was actually working. It's producing data on the screen. It was giving you enunciators and stuff like that as working, but uh, what was coming out, it couldn't actually make sense of it. But now it should be able to do that. So I might actually try that again and see if I can get the enunciator working on that loaded instead. Right. I'll catch you guys later. I'll do another live stream at some point. I'm not sure when, but um, I've got to do a lot of repairs on this thing anyway. It needs recapping and everything as well. So, there'll be videos about that. Catch you later. Bye.